नमस्ते एवरीवन आई एम योर को होस्ट शाउनी मैम वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट लर्निंग चैनल द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज वीडियो इज न्यूट्रिएंट साइकिल कार्बन एंड नाइट्रोजन साइकिल सो फर्स्ट अप वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग टुडे अबाउट द न्यूट्रिएंट साइकिल एंड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज दिस एक्चुअली सो हाउ कैन वी डिफाइन न्यूट्रिएंट साइकिल ओके सो इट इज द ट्रांसफर the transfer and the exchange transfer and exchange of what of nutrients that take place through this transfer actually takes place through okay through various components takes place through various components of what of an eco system so this kind of transfer and exchange is known as or it is called what it is called the nutrient cycle okay so we can consider several examples of nutrient cycle like the carbon cycle the nitrogen cycle nitrogen cycle then there is phosphorus phosphorus cycle etc okay so these are the various examples of nutrient cycle in each of these cycle specific nutrients are transferred and exchanged through various components of an ecosystem but today we will be specifically talking about the carbon cycle and the nitrogen cycle so first we will begin with the carbon cycle okay so this carbon is main co component of all living organisms it exists as part of the carbohydrate so do you know how does carbon exist in atmosphere so in atmosphere carbon exists in the form of carbon dioxide okay so this is carbon dioxide which is the form of carbon that exists in the atmosphere now this carbon dioxide is utilized by plants in order to make food during the process of what during the process of photosynthesis okay so during photosynthesis carbon dioxide is utilized by plants to make their food now this carbon is present or it gets accumulated within the bodies of the plants and further this carbon enters animals or reaches the animals okay through what through the food chain through the food chain animals also obtain carbon okay then what happens this carbon that is utilized from the atmosphere also needs to be given back to the atmosphere so that a proper balance is maintained in the ecosystem or in the environment so how does it happen it happens by respiration correct so plants and animals both of them perform respiration and by the respiration carbon dioxide is again given back to the atmosphere and further what happens these plants as well as animals they undergo when they die they undergo decay by decomposers okay by the decomposers they undergo decay and this further leads to the formation of what it further leads to the formation of fossil fuels right like coal oil natural gas these are the fossil fuels and what happens 
they then form the source of energy and these fossil fuels as we know are further utilized in factories these are utilized in factories power stations power stations then vehicle emissions all these things in all these areas fossil fuels are utilized and due to the fact the emissions of factories power stations and vehicular emissions they again lead to the production or release of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere by the process of combustion so when fossil fuels are utilized in these areas they undergo combustion and upon combustion again carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere so this is how the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere is utilized and again it is given back to the atmosphere and this is how the carbon cycle is in balance okay so this was about the carbon cycle now let's move on and study about the nitrogen cycle okay so here we will be discussing about the nitrogen cycle so nitrogen is very vital for all living organisms at its, it is involved in important processes and functions of life and this element that is nitrogen is of utmost importance to plant life now nitrogen in its gaseous form cannot be utilized by life forms okay so nitrogen in atmosphere it is present in the form of gas so we can say that nitrogen gas is present in air but this nitrogen gas is not utilizable by living form so what happens is this nitrogen gas needs to be fixed into a usable form and the process of converting nitrogen is called fixation so this nitrogen gas present in the atmosphere needs to be fixed and it is fixed to nitrates in the soil okay and this fixation is performed by the nitrogen fixing nitrogen fixing bacteria okay and also by the process of lighting okay also by the process of what by the process of lightning okay so by nitrogen fixing bacteria and the process of lightning the nitrogen gas in air is fixed or is converted into nitrates in soil so this nitrogen fixing bacteria can be azobacter or any other bacteria that helps in fixation of nitrogen further this nitrogen nitrates that is present in soil can be further broken down again into nitrogen gas in air and this takes place by the breakdown breakdown that is caused by the denitrifying denitrifying bacteria okay so there are denitrifying bacteria which can further convert the nitrates back to the nitrogen gas in the air then what happens the cycle also proceeds in this way where there are animals and these animals upon their upon their death and excretion so upon their death and excretion they release organic remains so their organic remains are further they undergo 
they further undergo the organic remains further undergo the process of decomposition and upon their decomposition ammonium compounds are formed okay so ammonium compounds are formed and these ammonium compounds are further oxidized these ammonium compounds undergo oxidation oxidation is carried out by the nitrifying bacteria the nitrifying bacteria and this oxidation of ammonium compounds can again lead to the formation of nitrates in the soil now these nitrates that are present in the soil are absorbed by they are absorbed by the roots absorbed by the roots roots of what roots of plants absorb these nitrates present in the soil and as these plants are fed by here we can say feeding so when animals feed on plants again the nitrogen that is now accumulated in the plants get transferred or reach the animals and this is how the cycle keeps on continuing okay so now let's quickly revise everything that we have covered today today we have learned about the nutrient cycle so what is nutrient cycle it is the transfer and exchange of nutrients that takes place through various components of an ecosystem so this process of transfer and exchange of nutrients is called nutrient cycle we have taken some of the examples of nutrient cycle like the carbon cycle nitrogen cycle phosphorus cycle etc and here we have discussed in detail about the carbon cycle and the nitrogen cycle so first up we have discussed about the carbon cycle so we know that carbon is an important component of all living organisms it exists as part of the carbohydrates so carbon is present in the form of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere further this carbon dioxide is utilized by the plants during the process of photosynthesis for making their food then this carbon that is now accumulated in the plants reach the animals through the food chain and by the process how the carbon was taken from the atmosphere the same carbon is again released to the atmosphere so that a balance is maintained in the environment okay so the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere was taken by plants as a raw material during the process of photosynthesis and the animals through the food chain receive the carbon from the plants and again they give back the carbon in the form of carbon dioxide during the process of respiration both the animals as well as the plants during respiration release carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide again accumulates in the atmosphere further the plants and animals when they decay by the decomposers when they undergo the process of decaying they turn into fossil fuels like oil coal natural gas and the energy from these fossil fuels are used in factories power stations and vehicle emissions when the process of combustion again gives or again releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere so this is how a cycle of carbon is maintained in the atmosphere okay then we talked about the nitrogen cycle so nitrogen is also a vital component for all living organisms and it is of utmost importance to the plant life so what happens nitrogen is present in the form of gas in the air now this form of nitrogen is not utilizable by living organisms hence there are a few bacteria called nitrogen fixing bacteria like the azobacter and many other which convert this nitrogen gas in the air 
into nitrates that are present in the soil and not only nitrogen fixing bacteria but also the natural phenomenon of lightning also helps in converting the nitrogen gas present in the air into nitrates okay further these nitrates can again be converted into nitrogen gas in the air by certain denitrifying bacteria as they break down the nitrates to form nitrogen gas okay then there are animals which and upon their death and excretion they produce organic remains which undergo decomposition to form ammonium compounds and these ammonium compounds again undergo oxidation by nitrifying bacteria to form nitrates in the soil now these nitrates in the soil are easily absorbed by the roots of the plants and when these plants are fed by the animals the cycle keeps on continuing in this way and the balance of nitrogen in the atmosphere is kept in place okay so i hope you all would have got some great insights by watching today's video please do not forget to like and share the video till then thank you for watching